So now this video is going to be one of my reading schematic diagram videos, but it's a simple circuit. So this is a, a Zener diode, and this is one of the circuit fragments for a Zener diode. This is the output, it goes to other circuitry. In this video we're just going to send it to an oscilloscope, but uh, it goes to something else that does something with that voltage. Now, the uh, Zener diode, you use it reverse bias. So we have the cathode more positive, the anode more negative. So most diodes, that's it. You just use that so that it does not conduct current. But the Zener diode is specially made to safely conduct, you know, a certain amount of current up to its wattage rating. I think most of them are half watt. But in uh, any case, you select, you know, you get a kit maybe with a bunch of different values at the same wattage. And uh, this video, we're going to use the 5.6 volt Zener diode. Now, the uh, Zener diode, that's a small component. I think it may be a little smaller than a resistor, but about the same size as a quarter watt resistor. And uh, this is written on it. Actually, it says C5V6, the ones I got. I don't know what the C is for, though, so I just put 5V6 there. And uh, that's the same as saying 5.6 volts, because as I said, it's really small. You're probably not going to see a decimal point. So they just take the V and put it where the decimal point is so you get 5V6. So that's the voltage where it will start conducting. Again, it can conduct safely as long as you stay below its wattage rating. So typically, you use a higher supply voltage, and then you get a reference voltage, 5.6 volts at that point, because that's what's built up across it. And you send that to circuitry. In this video, it's going to be an oscilloscope that just uh, recognizes that voltage and does something with it. Typically you don't power stuff. You may be able to power something really light, but uh, generally it's a reference voltage. So you could also just use it as a maximum voltage. If you have three volts at the power supply, you're gonna have three volts at this point, as long as you don't need any current or hardly any current. You'll have three volts. Whatever you set there, as long as it's below the Zener voltage, that's what you'll have at that point. Down here I have a diagram, looks like I already covered uh, these notes, and uh, so I'm not going to go over them again, but uh, if this helps you to see a pictorial of the uh, layout, there it is. So here you can see it is quite a bit smaller than a uh, quarter watt resistor, and I will zoom in, so there's the 6, there's the V, there's the 5, and there is the C, so I need a loop here to read this. And you could see where that decimal point would uh, disappear if they didn't shift the V there. And here you can see it wired up on the board. It's where the resistor and the Zener diode come together. The cathode, the black band, over here, headed towards the more positive supply. The anode, the side without the band, headed to our ground, our zero volt reference point, or the negative side of the power supply. And uh, the resistor there to the positive side of the power supply. So we have the oscilloscope here. And... We're going to put the uh, black alligator clip, clip to this blue jumper to ground, the zero volt reference point, and the uh, red one we're going to connect, it also has an alligator clip connected to it from the oscilloscope, to where the uh, Zener diode and the resistor is. So right now it's 3 volts because the power supply is 3 volts. As I said before, you can just use this if you want as a voltage uh, limitation if you don't want to exceed about 5.6 volts so it's not going to be exact but you know you can see we can go down to two now it's two squares up each square up is a volt and a four and then five now when we get to six it's probably falling a little bit short and those spikes are probably from me bumping the power supply but uh, in any case we got six and then in the uh, schematic diagram i wrote seven but the main thing is we have uh, slightly less than six there so maybe it's close to 5.7 or something but uh, in any case main thing is we got the one two three four five squares and then a little less than one more even as the uh, voltage changes so we are at seven now and if i go up to uh, 12 you're going to see a lot more currents going through the zener diode at this time about five milliamps now instead of less than one and uh, there you can see still we're a bit below seven. So it held uh, really steady. Some uh, Zener diodes, it may shift a little bit more. So as more current is going through the Zener diode, it's gonna build up a little bit more voltage, but it's gonna be pretty close. And uh, these 5.6 volt ones are uh, pretty close to rock steady. They hold their voltage pretty well, even as current goes up. So in any case, 
That is about it for Zener diodes. So when you see them in a schematic, they're going to have most likely more circuitry. Two of them, that circuitry is doing something with that voltage. The primary thing is that now you know what the Zener diode is doing. It's giving a voltage to a point in a circuit. And uh, so, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell if you can donate, please. I have links down below, but otherwise, watching videos is great. I appreciate that. I'll see you in the next video.